I'm just gonna read as much as I can the whole entire day. Um, should I call it a 24 hour readathon? Or just read with me? 16, what about a 16 hour readathon? Is that better? Maybe. A whole day reading. We're gonna read the whole entire day. Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. It is Monday today, I have the day off. I was gonna start it last night. A friend called me and she was like, hey, Liz was in town, you want to go watch her? I was like, are you kidding me? I had no idea Lisa was gonna be in town, so we bought the tickets like an hour before the show. I booked it to my friend's house, picked her up, drove to the venue, and it was amazing. She was incredible. I love Lisa so much. I was not expecting to go see her last night. It was actually her last show of the tour. It was crazy. Usually people start in this area. I'm from Northern California and usually artists start their tours here because it is like they start here and they just go down. But I know she had another event Saturday night so it made sense for her. Anyways, I was surprised that that was the last, like when she said that that was the last show of the tour i was so happy because i was like we would have missed this whole entire thing i would have not seen her and i would have been so sad if i had found out the next day that she had been here and i didn't go see her she was amazing she killed it i had an amazing time with my friend i'm so glad we went my idea was to start vlogging like at 6 7 p.m and then go to sleep and then finish today by 7 6 7 p.m um however that's not gonna happen so i'm just gonna take today it's i mean it's 9 it's 9 a.m right now so i'm just gonna take the whole entire day to read as much as I can. The first book that I'm gonna start with, it's one that I have been anticipating for a very long time, and that is Yellow Face by R.F. Kuang. If you haven't heard of this book, you must be living under a rock. I have been anticipating it since she announced it. I thought it was gonna be a bigger book, but I am so happy to say that this is almost 300 pages, if not 300 pages long. And we're here for it. It's not gonna take long. It shouldn't take long for me to finish it. Probably a couple hours. And I don't know much about this book. I only know that she wrote a lot about the publishing industry. Things that we want to know. Things that we speculate. Things that we might know but like no one has actually come out and said yes this is how it works this is how it happens i know it's supposed to be like satirical it's supposed to be making fun of it but also like telling some truths and like about it says white lies dark humor deadly consequences sign me up i am intrigued i want to know about this especially as a writer one of the themes about this book that I know of is that she touches on the fact or the idea of like who is who should be writing things own voices is a very big theme on this like who should be telling those kind of stories like can someone can a writer that made all the research that tried to stay true to the story that wanted to tell the story get published like should they be able to tell that story or should own voices be able to tell that story kind of thing um i have asked myself that question especially when i was um, doing my undergrad program my creative writing program um i i believe we had a discussion or i just had a discussion with my professor it's a very difficult topic that's the only thing i know about this book so I'm gonna get started on this because I am so so ready to listen and to hear more about the publishing industry like please tell me all the juicy secrets that you know and you know 
that R.F. Kuang knows about the publishing industry and the perks it has and about being a very successful author. So I'm excited to hear what she has to say. I know this is fiction, but I know there's a lot of truths in this. I am also very hungry. I think I'm gonna make pancakes. We had pancakes yesterday in the morning, like for lunch. So I think I'm just gonna make more right now for breakfast. But I'll see you guys in a bit. Plans changed. I'm not gonna make more. Uh, I told you guys I was gonna make pancakes for breakfast. You're good. Um, but my sister called me and she invited me over to have breakfast with her. So she's gonna make breakfast. I'm gonna go right now. We're not gonna take long. We're just gonna go eat probably for like 30 minutes or so. I did start this and I do have to say I was not expecting for the writing to be this um I don't know how to explain it. This is more contemporary and I was not expecting that. I thought it was gonna be like more um like heavy on the writing. I didn't know what the vibes were gonna be uh, but it's it's a good book. I am enjoying it so far. It's reading faster. It's reading faster than I thought it would. That's it. That's what I wanted to say because Babel or Babel, whatever it's called, um, that one was a very different paced book than this one. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna finish it today for sure. I have to. It's a good book so far. So we are 100 pages. No. Where am I? Okay, so it's later. Breakfast was fun. I am seven chapters into this book. I didn't know it was gonna go that well. It is so good and so interesting. So far, I am enjoying the facts that she has been throwing about the publishing industry. I didn't know that the manuscript was gonna get stolen or taken. I didn't know anything about the characters. Our main character was hanging out with this big author and it's not like, I mean, she was jealous of how her life turned out and how her work like just took off and she became, she had these amazing deals like book deals and they were celebrating about her getting um, Netflix I mean she signed for Netflix and everything was going so well for her friend I mean quote-unquote friend and then there was a tragedy the friend dies I don't think that was a spoiler um oh yeah no it's not a spoiler yeah so <laughs> it's all in the synopsis I don't read that if you guys know if you guys know me I tend to never read synopsis I like to go into this blind so I was not expecting that I didn't know that she was gonna steal the manuscript and all that stuff so it's been fun so far I am enjoying it there was a quote I mean there has been a lot of quotes on this but there was one that has like stood out to me and I really I mean I enjoyed it I really liked it so it says um, I see others efforts have nothing to do with the book's success best sellers are chosen nothing you do matters you just get to enjoy the perks along the way and I mean that's kind of sad but in reality kind of true I've always had a feeling that that's how it worked because I've always questioned the fact that it's like how does how do they know a book is going to do well? And how are books chosen too? Because I mean, some books get more marketing than others and they get pushed more than others. And I always wonder like, what makes the book? Um, like what makes them decide? Or how do they decide which books to push more than others? Especially with debut authors. Um, like how, like who chooses? Like how do they choose? How do, how do we know it's going to be this great, amazing thing? Like we just, we just hear it, it will be. And then I feel like we all make it a big deal um, without knowing if the book is actually that good or not. I don't know, it's interesting. I am enjoying it so far. Coming back with my sisters, we stopped at Dutch Bros because I needed to stay awake. I cannot nap at all. Like I'm not gonna nap. And then we passed by a thrift store. I wanted to see if they had frames and they did. So I picked up this one. If you guys know me, if you guys have been following me for a while, I love watching McKenna's 
uh, vlogs from Exa McKenna and her renovation videos and everything and she always collects these kind of frames like golden old vintage frames and I have been doing the same because um, I've told you guys this before but when I moved into this house I thought it was gonna be like I was gonna be here for a year I was not planning on staying here for long and I just I never thought about putting stuff in my walls I never did in any of the other houses either just because I knew it was not my forever home and I never put effort into like trying to decorate or just make it my own especially because I knew I was not gonna stay here for long I didn't I didn't want to make any holes on the walls um, I didn't want to repair them later on but it's gonna be two years here and I don't know if it, I mean we might need another we might stay another year here so I just want to make this my house like I want to change my bookshelves because they don't match like the furniture um, the one like with my bookshelves and the TV stand that was just like a quick um, thing because we didn't have a TV stand I mean I like it there's nothing wrong with it but it's like different colors of tones and woods and that just it doesn't match so I want to change that and I want to start decorating the house like I want to put up um, more frames I want it to look better like especially like I told you guys that I want to I don't know if I told you guys but I also want to add curtains into these windows right here because it just it needs something I want to change that lamp as well because it's ugly it's just ugly it was a quick last minute thing like we needed lighting so we got those but it's been a, almost a year and I just want to make it like I just want things to look pretty to me you know and uh, McKenna has been inspiring me a lot and I did some things to the bathroom and I really like that so I'm gonna continue with every room in the house uh, right now I've been thinking about the office the background where my desk is it's just a plain wall and I don't want that anymore it looks ugly like it's just a plain wall and I don't like that so um, I think I'm gonna add some frames into that wall and some shelves maybe to the side I haven't decided so yeah um, another thing I got this on the mail do you guys know I like to work out most some days um, but I had never gotten anything from Buff Bunny until my sister's birthday I got her a set of like a shorts and a sports bra and I got myself some shorts because I wanted to try them out and those are the best shorts I've ever bought they are so soft they are they're not tight but they are they do compress a little bit but they're so soft they're so comfortable I just I love I ordered myself a set and it's pink and it's so pretty and it's this lovely pink I it's so pretty I mean it's so I just love this pink I need more color in my wardrobe at the concert last night everyone was wearing like bright pink and bright greens and sequins sparkles everything it was so pretty and I was like just wearing jeans and the top that was black and white and it was basic so I was like I need to buy more colorful clothing so this is so pretty so these are the shorts these are different than the other ones that I got the materials also very soft but this top right here it feels like it's gonna be more compressed than the others so I am here for it oh it says buff bunny I followed two girls well I follow one girl that has a code with them and so I used it but then I found another girl not long ago and she also has a code from them so next time I Next time I order from Buff Bunny, I'm going to be using both of their codes because I believe you can. I really like their stuff, so I'm going to try this and see if I order something else later. But for now, I'm going to continue reading and I'll be back with another update.
we are pushing through with the book. I do, I mean, I can't do much about it. I am a very slow reader. I'm a very slow reader, but we are pushing through. I am so comfortable on that bin bag, but I don't want to nap and I'm getting hungry, but not hungry to have a meal. So I'm gonna have a snack. Um, I wanna try these jalapeno air fried chips. If you guys want to know something about me is that I love chips, I, any kind of chips. I saw they had air fried jalapeno chips. I'm gonna try them and we're gonna snack and continue reading because the book is good. Like right now we're in the process of not a lot is happening, but things are being questioned. Her identity is being questioned because um, she's using her middle name as a way to, I, I do want to say like it's kind of tricking people into believing that her middle name is her last name and it's a nation last name. So her middle name is Song. So it's Juniper Song and her last name is like White. But they're not using her last name, they're using her middle name. And those, and that's like tricking people, but not really because that's actually her middle name. But people think that it's an Asian last name when it's not. So right now, people are finding out that her identity is not what they think. Like they're questioning why is she writing about this when she's not even Asian, she's white. So it's getting there. It's like, right now it's like this, so I'm hoping that it gets interesting in a bit so I don't fall asleep. So yeah, I'm gonna get some snacks and continue reading. It is 5.30. Um, I had to take a break because I my head started to hurt and I was getting bored. Um, yeah, the book was, it was, it slowed down a lot and I didn't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's, I mean, it was past the 100 page. I think I'm close to page to the 200. There was this account that's kind of like picking up something that might have happened she's getting blamed and i was just thinking how the main character she stole the the manuscript of this other author right and she worked on it she made it her own yet like the bones of the story she stole like even if she worked for the rest of the story she made it become a book. I don't understand how she was able to go through with it because she's getting all the fame, she's getting all the success that she wanted, that her friend um, was having. And I'm like, but that, like, knowing that that was not your work, that you didn't come up with the idea, that it was not yours from the beginning, like, I would have never, like, I could never live with that, knowing that it's not mine knowing that that success it's still not mine even if she worked on it even if she did the research later on um yeah we do see some regret from her part but not a lot you know what i mean like she still went with it she was still went through with it and the success that she's having but now things are being questioned so that's where i'm at I think it started with a good pace and right now it's a little slower so I'm gonna eat I haven't had food since breakfast and I know my husband had pizza 
last night when I went to the concert. So I am going to eat the rest of that because he did leave some for me. I think I'm just going to watch like a YouTube video or something while I eat and everything. And I need to charge the camera. So we're going to do that. Okay guys, voice over time because I lost the audio on this clip. Here I am just letting you guys know that I I finished the book this night and I gave you guys a few thoughts on it. But I did want to talk about it more the next morning because it was fresh. I had just finished it and I was tired. So to spare you guys from this, let's just move over to that clip a few days later okay guys i don't want to make this longer than i should but i do want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed in the last few days i appreciate you guys so much my last blog did better than other vlogs have done before and i've been here for a very long time so thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for subscribing i know we have new people so i am I am very grateful for you guys. I just want to share with you guys the things that I like to do, um, reading and writing, and just things that I do on a daily basis. So thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing, and thank you for all the love that the girls, Koda and Shansi, received. They are very grateful, and they say thank you for subscribing. I just didn't want that to go unnoticed, because trust me, your girl noticed. So yeah, I appreciate you guys. But now for the book, I did finish Yellow Face that day. I've had a few days to sit with it and think about it. I did enjoy it, but I also thought it was a bit slow and not as interesting as I thought it would be in certain parts. There are really good discussions in this book. There are really good themes in it. Something that I've discovered about RF Kuang is that you, you can write thesis. You can write so many essays on so many different topics in her stories. Like, she touches on so many things like publishing, own voices, um, cancel culture. Like, it, there's so many things that you can write about and just discuss and talk about. It's just, it's amazing. When it comes to her writing, when it comes to her ideas, it's just, she's so rich of everything. She has, she's a great, amazing writer. And I enjoyed that about this book, like the whole publishing thing. She just, she got down, she got down and dirty to it. She told us how bestsellers are chosen. That is most likely a real thing. Like publishers choose which books get to be bestsellers, which books get to be talked about. And if you think about the whole idea of this book, this book is one of those books. So I did enjoy the story. I did think it was a good story. There's so many things that you can talk about. However, I did think that our main character was boring. I said it. I don't think she was... I don't know if that was the, the whole idea with it. Um, I wouldn't give this a five star, honestly. I would give this like a... I'll give it a four just because of the rest of the things that we talked about. So... Um, I thought the main character was boring. I wrote down a few things. So for example, we talked about own voices. This really doesn't tell you like who can write things and who can't. I kept thinking of American Dirt. If you guys um, heard about that book, that was a big deal a few years ago. American Dirt got so much crap for not being own voice and just this author decided to do the research, write the story. I haven't read it. I didn't read it. I didn't want to like fall into the whole 
who's right, who's wrong, and like I didn't want to review it. I didn't care for it, so um, I did not. I didn't read it, so but I was thinking about that exact book the whole time. And that book is mentioned at the end of the book, um, also with the help. Those are books that I guess that one also got the same thing for it, um, but different kind of stories. And yeah, we don't get to see like even though the research is being done, like we still like nothing is concrete about who should be writing the story and who shouldn't. It was funny, but it was also serious at the same time. Everything was talked about, like she was blackmailed. Um, she was she thought she was going crazy. I mean, she felt remorse at some point, but also she thought that was the best idea, best thing that she could actually have done. I'm not saying that it was her work because like I said, she stole the manuscript, like the bare bones of the story. That was not her idea. That was not her work. She worked off of something that she stole. Like she would not have had that breakthrough if it hadn't been for her stealing this story. So I don't, I don't, I mean, if you've read it, I don't want to spoil it, but if you've read it, like, I think there should have been consequences. But then at the same time, it's like, that actually I mean it could have happened but yeah I think one of the main themes about this whole story was cancel culture and how fans how writers I mean how people can actually destroy someone and someone's career we see one thing and we just run with it like we don't think about it we just destroy we can destroy people especially with twitter it is really scary but it's true it, it it has happened i'm sorry my car got full so i kind of moved the camera but like i was saying if you're not interested in publishing if you're not interested in writers you're if you're not interested in authors you're not interested in twitter cancel culture if you're not interested in the i mean the this the dark side of who should be writing what. Um, if you're not into any of this, I think this would be a very difficult book to recommend. Um, I think not everyone would enjoy it and not everyone would realize what this book is doing or what, you know, like it's not the same to recommend a fantasy book to someone and to recommend and recommend this book to the same person because it's just not everyone's gonna enjoy it the same I for example I can relate to everything I can I mean not that I can't relate I learned a lot from it I I can relate to things I know what they're talking about I know what they mean I know I was I wanted to know what she had to say about the publishing so I hope you guys understand what I'm saying I enjoyed the book I like the book and I gave it a four stars not saying it, ha it was the best book I've ever read because it wasn't um, and it makes me think about this whole idea of like I remember when this book was announced I wanted to read it so bad like it was being it was being hyped it was RF Kuang I mean anything that she writes I will read but does the book lead to the expectations that's the question really isn't it that is all for this vlog i said i wasn't gonna make this long and i did thank you guys for watching and subscribing i really appreciate you guys that is all for this vlog thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope to see you guys soon bye welcome back oh my god tell them what we're doing no